Hello, Radek. Hello, hello, Qatar. Uh, it's Rad here from Fantrash. Hello to you and hello to all the Atmosphere Entertainment uh, listeners. Um, first of all, could you int introduce Fantrash to the listeners of Atmosphere Entertainment? Absolutely. Well, uh, just for the record again, uh, my name is Rad. I play the drums. Uh, the band called Fantrash comes from Poland. Um, well, we think we play what is generally called progressive thrash metal. Uh, we have just uh, recorded uh, and released an album, well just, actually that was already uh, a few months ago. Uh, we're working on another album, but well, I guess we'll talk about it in a minute. Anyway, Band, band Thrash is from Poland and well, I strongly recommend it. Um, what's the name of the album? Uh, the album is called uh, Duality of Things. Um, well, as, as I've already said, the music that you can find there is, is a mixture of maybe not necessarily old school, but still thrash metal um, combined with some, some other progressive stuff. So I guess, uh, well, the music might interest some of uh, fans that are into well, not necessarily uh, old school stuff, but but also into some some new uh, progressive things as well. And how many tracks are on it? Well, uh, you can find um, twelve tracks actually. Uh, Ten of them are regular songs. Um, you can also find intro and also an instrumental one uh, actually, just for the record here, written by. Um, Wojtek Pilot, the, the other uh, guitarist, uh, it's an instrumental piece, uh, something, let's say, completely different, as Monty Python would have put it. Um, what bands influence the music of your band? Well, it's hard to say, because uh, as you might have read in uh, any, any bio that you can find on the net, the band actually started uh, in 1986. Uh, well, as we know, it, it was quite a long time ago, and as you can also uh, read in the bio, uh, the band members at that time were especially uh, influenced by bands like uh, Destruction, Slayer, as we all remember, that was the time when Slayer released uh, Raining Blood, uh, Metallica uh, just recorded Master of Puppets, so that, that, that was actually... Uh, all, all those things that, that you could hear at that time and they must influence the band at that time again. Uh, today it's, it's, it's a little bit different I guess because um, uh, the band got back in about 2007, uh, so five years ago, and well things changed a bit. Now, now we're into something more uh, progressive but still you can hear the old stuff going on there, somewhere in the background. Um, what are your ly lyrics about? Well, uh, lyrics written by Grzesiek, the, uh, Greg, the, the guy that uh, makes uh, the music actually, well, they are quite personal, uh, although um, I think, and as Greg puts it, uh, they're quite universal. Well, another thing, um, he himself never actually wants to talk about them. I, I guess that uh, as every uh, lyrics author would, would put it, uh, you have to find for yourself and just read them while listening to the music, of course. Um, do you have any other release besides this album? Uh, yes, so first of all, um, well, if we get back to 1986-1990, well that would be only some demo tapes, probably completely unavailable right now. Uh, but if we look at the new era uh, of the band, well, that would be 2010, uh, an app uh, called uh, Trauma Despotic, and you could find uh, three songs. That, well, the, this material is still available. And then uh, we would have actually uh, the duality of things and also, well, we are planning to release a new album that hasn't got a title yet. That will be probably uh, early 2013, but well, still unavailable, un unavailable right now. So, 
uh, the album and the app so far. Uh -huh. You exist since 86 and until yes. now you brought out one album. Why? Yeah, quite a surprise to all of us. Uh, well, as simple as, as that, the band uh, was active for about five years, five, six years at the time, from 1986 to um, 1992. And then the guys uh, simply split up. Uh, well, it's a long story. First of all, you, you, you'd have to understand the fact that in Poland, uh, making music uh, wasn't actually the easiest thing to do. Um, the people responsible for, for the band at that time, and I, I have to mention here that I joined the band only about like two years ago. Uh, well, anyway, uh, 1992, Greg, uh, after getting married, uh, had his first child, and simply uh, he had to make a choice either uh, make music and continue uh, or simply provide for his family. Uh, well, to put the long story short, uh, things got a little bit complicated at that time for the band, so they had to, um, let's say, suspend activity. Uh, and this suspension took the band about 15 years. Well, but now um, things are going, I think, quite, quite smoothly. Well, what we have to remember about is that although the band is, well, we could say 25 years old, etc., uh, but uh, the truth is that actually today we are talking about a different band. Uh, band members uh, have changed. Uh, situation of every, every person in the band is different. Uh, also approach to making music is different. So we could say that the band actually is quite new in a way, well, the positive way, fresh way, let's say. And how many of the band members from the first lineup are still in the band? Well, from the very first one, that would be two. Uh, Greg, uh, the music maker actually, and also bassist Mary, uh, but also less uh, the vocalist, uh, also dates back to uh, 19... I think 98, uh, sorry, 1988 uh, uh, or uh, to 1992, I think. Well, anyway, those three people were present in the band at that time. Uh, and as for the other band members, that would be uh, Wojtek Pilot, uh, lead guitarist, solo guitarist as well. Uh, he joined the band just actually before me. I'm in the band, as I've already said. I've been there for like two years, so we're the... Well, as we like to call it, fresh blood in the band. Uh -huh. um, could you say something about the other band members? Do they play beside Fentrash in another band? Did they play before in another band? Something like that. Okay, um, well, as for Greg and Mary, um, I guess they weren't really active, uh, musically speaking. Uh, during the break, of course. Um, as for 1986 and, and those years, uh, Fan Thrash was actually the only band for them, I guess. Um, today, um, Greg is completely focused on Fan Thrash, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but as for other bands, there are some, of course. Uh, if we start with um, Pilots, uh, his other band, is called Spectamentia and he's doing really, really progressive things there. Um, actually, it's his main band, in a way. Uh, he was invited uh, to play with Panther some time ago. As for me, I also play in two other projects. One of them is called Coffins, and it's a mixture of uh, hardcore or and thrash metal, let's say. The other one is called Ape to God. It's it's really new, even no no releases. Um, well, in this band we we try to play well metal, but with some influences of well simply things we like. So, for example, Mastodon. But definitely, Fast Fresh is um, the most important of all these. The most active. Um, do you like to play live? Uh, of course, I guess it's. Uh, 
the main goal of every every person who picks up uh, a guitar or, or starts playing drums because uh, live music is is the best the most suitable way to um listen to music of course with with today's uh, possibilities of, of recording uh listening to albums is most convenient way but still actually especially with with metal music i think uh getting to know it live is 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 the the best way uh possible and of course uh every musician who starts playing dreams of finally hitting the stage and and playing for as many music uh, as as many fans as possible so yes we love it absolutely um what about the festival that Sandrash is playing or i don't know i heard something from from the other band member about a festival that you are going to attend. Yes. Yeah. What can you tell uh, me about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, the festival is called uh, Metal Never Rusts and it's going to take place on the 30th of June uh, this year in Poland. Uh, the interesting thing is that well, quite old crews are going to attend it. For example, we're going to play along with Onslaught uh, very old band, as you all know. Uh, there's also going to be Necronomicon from Germany and some really old uh, thrash metal band from Poland. Well, this is uh, the festival uh, that is confirmed for now that we know about. Uh, there might be some other festivals during uh, the summer holidays, but everything is, let's say, uh, in progress, so I can't say anything for sure, for today at least. Mm -hmm. Any plans for the near future? Uh, well, the nearest future is um, actually as, as clear as it is, uh, which means there's this festival, uh, there are surely some concerts for us to play, um, some, of that, some of them in progress, uh, some of them uh, absolute uh, mystery for us, but time will show. Um, for the band, definitely releasing the album, because we are already working on it. Uh, Greg is, is making music, we've already started arranging some songs and the album would, would probably see the light of day in early 2013. So, well, the plans are as for any other band, play as many concerts as possible and make music, release album. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, any last words? Well, last words. Well, um, we really hope uh, we, we, we can visit your country and play for you. Uh, we hope you will find our music uh, interesting. And, well, my last words for today, I hope, not for all my life, would be, well, see you at the gigs and support metal scenes. We are there really for you. So, well, let's support each other. Of course. I wish to you and to all the other band members of Fantras all the best in the future. Thank you. And that you will get what you want and deserve. Thank you very much. We, we do hope so as well. So, uh, once again, uh, thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy Fantras. Thank you for giving me this interview, Radoslav. Thank you very much as well. So, see you. See you. Bye. Bye.